Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm going to start the video by asking you to compare some images. So I have a folder here that says me. I've got two files in it, me.bmp and me2.bmp, and I've opened them both in Earthenview. Now all I'd like you to do is just to take a look at this uh, file. I'm sorry if you can't see the whole of it, it doesn't really matter at the time being. Uh, just have a look at this picture, this is me.bmp. And I'd just like you to compare it with this one, which is me2.bmp. Uh, sorry, it's not covering the whole lot. So if I go backwards and forwards, see me find anything visually? Now if you can, there must be something wrong with your eyes because that's exactly the same file. Well, not exactly. Um, see, you've got, you've got the same uh, resolution here. And uh, same size. So it's uh, 322, 322, 252. Same size, 238. Out of 236, and um, there's been nothing applied visually to this. If I go to uh, right click and go to properties on me.bmp, have a look at the size of it, it says 245 760 bytes on disk, and me2 is the same 245 760 bytes, 240 kilobytes. Now, you would have thought that both of these files are exactly the same because they look exactly the same, they've got the same properties, and they're the same size, but they're not the same. Now, uh, with me2.bmp, there's something that's happened to it. It's gone for a process of steganography, uh, which will, I will explain in a second. And um, what has happened is, I'll basically show it to you. There's a program that I have used called STools. And all I'm going to do is drag this file into it. And you'll notice that on my desktop I have a text file called hello.txt. I'm going to double click it and you can see it says Duncan Mail, my website and my YouTube page. So I'm basically going to right click and say reveal, it's asking me for a password which I've previously set, so I'm going to put it in, and leave the encryption algorithm, press an OK, and you'll notice it says revealed archive, and it says hello.txt size 75. I can then save, oops, click this and save it, and I'll put it into steg, double click it, and there is my hello.txt file that I've made, which was previously on the desktop. So what I've managed to do is put a te text file inside a bitmap, a BMP file, save it, and have it the same size as one that hasn't got it in, which is this one, and you're free to try this out because it won't change the size at all. And um, then I've revealed it again. So, um, I mean, I can just show you as a, a demonstration. Uh, Me.bmp, I'll drag this in, and I'll reveal this one. I'll type the same password I've typed in before, press OK, there's no revealed archive up here because there was nothing there originally. So I'll show you the process. Well, no, first of all, I'm going to uh, talk to you about this steganography. Now, steganography is a process used uh, where you have you can basically hide files inside um, images and uh, some um, music files as well if they have them in WAV format. Now. Um, you need to use something like this S tools because uh, you may have seen some videos on YouTube where people have done something called a binary copy and they've gone start, run, CMD, and then they've done copy slash B and then done two files together and then you can unzip it or something like that. Well, this works differently. This um, actually changes the file directly and um, doesn't change its properties or size or anything. So anyway, with this S tools, this um, steganography, uh, this can be useful. Um, what can it be useful for? It can be useful for if you if I have a picture that I've made myself, and someone else has uh, stolen it from me. It's a bitmap. Someone's stolen it from me, and they're claiming it as theirs. If someone, some random person, was to come along, and how would they know who actually owned that file originally? And um, the way you can do that is by adding like a text file inside it, and then asking them to get a program like S Tools, and then reveal that what the file is inside it. So um, I'll just show you the process I made to get it to do that reveal thing. All I did was open up STools. This is free, by the way. I'll provide the download link in the description. Put me.bmp into here. I then took the... Oh, before you do that, you'll notice in the bottom right-hand corner, it says it can hold up to 30 kilobytes. So uh, you may be able to put any uh, file into here that's up to 30 kilobytes in size and hide it inside this BMP file. Um, now I won't go into details on how it saves it. Uh, it does things like taking the last um, last uh, last byte or something, or it will spread the data through the uh, pro throughout the program and encrypt it. Um, but anyway, I won't go into that. 
<laughs> it's, um, yeah, so all I did is drag this hello.txt onto this as well, as on top of the BMP, and then it asks you to put in a passphrase. So I'll put in lol, lol. You can change the encryption algorithm, but you have to match that when you um, unencrypt it or whichever. Click OK, and it's already, it'll say hidden data. So this is the newly created picture, which looks exactly the same as the other one. You can then right click it, save as, and this will be your new file. Excuse me, um, so uh, me.bmp up on the desktop. So again, when I wanna, um, when I wanna find out what's in this, because again, it will be exactly the same size, 245760, and I've just put that hello.txt file in there, and it's the same as these were. So, um, yeah, if I want to re restore it again, I just drag it into STools or get, if you were to set, you can send this like over MSN Messenger uh, or any instant messaging or email or something, uh, but the person on the other end has to have STools installed to be able to reveal it or, um, or another program which made it in the first place. And uh, now, if you use things like Flickr and things like that, um, you should, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to use that as kind of a backup site or uh, any image hosting things, you can kind of use it as a backup because you can put a text file ins inside this picture and they won't know the difference, you just upload it and then you can download it and then download and then reveal the file so it could be as used as a kind of a secure backup thing if you really want to try it but um, I'd mostly use it for digital watermarking so you can't see like a proper watermark in the corner or something, it's all hidden inside the, the file. Now if you have a JPEG file, because this uh, STools works with BMP, GIFs uh, and WAVs, you can put it into them. Now if you have a JPEG file, I'm not sure if there's any software there's any software for it, but there is an online um, tool that you can use. All you have to do is add your picture here, uh, put your file in that you want to put in, um, it can be the same text file as I did, press start and it will return, it will ask you to download a PNG file, uh, which you can then use on your website or something, and then when you want to decode it, you come back to this website, which I'll provide in the, in the description, and then you can um, put the PNG file into here, uh, press start, and it will bring you your hidden file that you had inside it. So this is just an online steganography um, way of doing it, and again that talks about watermarks, things like that. So. Um, it's quite a neat trick that you can do with your picture files. Uh, now, if anyone would like to let me know of how you can do it with JPEG files, I know there's a few bits of software that does it with BMPs, uh, GIFs, and WAVs, um, but I've, I've just got STools, and I'll give you the link to download it, and uh, this uh, online thing here. So, if you want to hide messages in uh, files, and uh, graphics files, or if you want to... Um, well, do what you want really, if you just want to put a file in there and have it as a backup and upload it somewhere, then um, feel free to do it. So thanks for watching my video, I hope you now know what steganography is, it's just a ba it's basic way to hide messages inside other files. And uh, the difference between this and crypt cryptography is that cryptography scrambles messages up or in a certain way and then people know about it because they'll have the encrypted message um, and then they'll want to try and de decrypt it, won't they? But if they, if as you notice from when I started this, you notice that there wasn't a difference um, when I shoot you because people won't know the difference because they don't know that the um, hidden messages is in there because there's no difference from the original file. Uh, but anyway, I'm blabbering. I apologise for that. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.